And a new report from the American Cancer Society is revealing some major racial disparities in mortality rates for cancer patients. While cancer mortality rates have decreased about 33% since the early 90s, the rates of death from prostate cancer are two to four times higher in black men than men of every other race or ethnic group. Morgan Norwood has more. The American Cancer Society releasing the latest cancer statistics, and overall, there continues to be a drop in cancer mortality rates. But there's a concerning finding when it comes to prostate cancer, which saw an increase in the percentage of men diagnosed with advanced disease and the report revealing major racial disparities. What is really striking about this is the disparities that continue to exist between black and whites in prostate cancer in particular. If you're a black man, you're 70% more likely to be diagnosed with with prostate cancer. The rates of death from prostate cancer are two to four times higher in black men than in men of every other race or ethnic group. And for black women, they're twice as likely to die from endometrial cancer as white women and 40% more likely to die from breast cancer, despite similar numbers of diagnosis. For prostate and breast cancers, the screening rate for black and white Americans is about the same, but the medical response after an abnormal test is different. We're concerned that oftentimes that blacks are not being followed up in the same way and always given access to the same treatments. The American Cancer Society will be conducting research to learn more. One thing the American Cancer Society is doing is launching a cohort of 100,000 black women to follow them, you know, over time, looking at risk factors for cancer development. And launching a new program called IMPACT. IMPACT is improving prostate cancer mortality together. It's a major effort. It's, it's multi-year and our goal is to decrease mortality for all and shrink the disparity gap amongst blacks and whites. All right, Morgan Norwood, thank you for that. And ABC News medical contributor, emergency medicine physician, Dr. Darian Sutton joins me now for more on this. Dr. Sutton, what do you make of this report? What stands out to you? Uh, good morning, Diane. It's incredibly concerning. When you when I look at these numbers, I think about my own experience and the experience of the black men within my family. It's hard to look away. When we see these numbers, we know that black men have the highest incidence of prostate cancer, almost 70 percent compared to any other group. And we also know that we're less likely to be screened for prostate cancer uh, in the exam rooms, which shows us a little bit more about that bias. And even after the diagnosis, we're less likely to receive appropriate guideline care and more likely to suffer from treatment delays. All of these, I think, are tied to these numbers that we're seeing in terms of these great disparities. Uh, what research do you think needs to be done to try to learn more about what's causing these disparities? Well, I think that the research has already begun, as in Morgan's piece that was just stated. We're understanding a little bit more and also about the deep ties that this has to the structural and systemic effects of racism that is connected to access to care, as well as the socioeconomic limitations of care, um, which makes it unattainable. My hope is that we'll continue to advance research and make it more diverse. Uh, unfortunately, historically, people of color are excluded from qualitative data collection, as well as clinical trials. And so my hope is that in the future, the research will reflect what the community looks like. Now, in the piece, we um, heard about this program called IMPACT, which works toward improving prostate cancer mortality rates. How effective has that been, and what else can be done on that front? I think we're only beginning to see the benefits of studies like that, as well as how that translates to the other disparities that we see in other forms of cancer, such as endometrial cancer, as well as breast cancer. Unfortunately, this is not isolated to prostate cancer. My hope is that in the future, we'll begin to see more and more information. Diane, the way that I study this and the way that I understand it is that you cannot change something that you don't measure. And so hopefully we'll be able to be more collaborative with community and faith leaders to increase awareness and education about the disease, to bring more of those who are at risk forward to have better conversations with their providers. All right, Dr. Darian Sutton, we appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.